The second topic in our lecture today is marketing strategy and the marketing mix. So, let's start by thinking about from where comes the market strategy and marketing mix. The goal of any organization is to create value for the customer and build profitable customer relationship, which means relationship that makes the company profitable so it can grow and it can continue. So, customer value and relationships are the core of everything we are thinking about. So, we start first on the strategic level by making some processes that are segmentation, targeting and positioning and we will talk about all of them later. These processes are the main issue that make us build the strategy to serve the people well. After building that strategy, we think about the marketing mix, the tactics. The tactics we, in the tactics, we are going to talk about the four P's, the product, the price, the promotion, and the place. These tactics are the things that we interact directly with the customer. Let's talk about all of this in details in the next slides. The first step we do in developing our strategy is to make market segmentation, which means that we divide the market into distinct groups of buyers. Okay, we have many, many, many characteristics that we can divide the market by. For example, based on demographics, divide our market. Or we can divide the market based on consumer behavior or consumer behavior in interacting with the product. Okay, like for example, people who use TV heavily, so we need to produce a, a TV that uh, can uh, bear uh, working for long hours and so on for these people while there are some people who just use a TV for two hours a day so they can use normal TV uh, or uh, something like a quality one but not the super one we can also use a geographic location to divide our customers and the geographic location leads us to the importance of geographic location for example you cannot uh, give the people who live on the coast uh, the same type of clothes that you are going to give the people who are going to live in the mount if you are a clothing company. The result of the market segmentation process is market segments. And the market segment is a group of customers who respond in a similar way to a given set of marketing efforts. These customers can be reached by the marketing mix that we are going to talk about later. So, here we should think and talk about, we have many, many ways of classifying the customers and dividing them into groups. So what's the best thing to think about? And I actually, I guide you to think about uh, cohort analysis. Cohort analysis gives some examples how cohort analysis is used in business, generation X and generation Y and their behavior and so on. And I advise all of you to search over the internet and find what, what court analysis is doing and how it divides the groups and how it classifies them. But this doesn't mean that we should all the time divide our consumers according to court analysis because we still have the demographics, the geographic location and the consumer behavior and many, many other classification criteria. So the second step in developing the strategy is the market targeting. And it's a process of evaluating each market segment. So we evaluate the segment according to the attractiveness of that segment to us as a company. Then select one or more of these segments to enter. So in the targeting process, we should determine what makes the segment attractive. So this asks some questions. How big is that segment? How much growth is there in that segment? How much money do they have to spend and how stable is that segment? Also, we should ask, how good are you at meeting the needs of that segment? What's your current position with respect to that segment? How easy it is for you to address the needs of that segment? Also, we should ask some questions about what about the competition? How many people are going after the segment? How many competitors, how many companies are going after the segment and target it like you? 
what are the strengths of the competitors so you try to balance and to know what's your strengths against the competitor's strengths so you can know if you can go through the business in a good way and find your way there or you will find very very hard competitors so you should think again are there potential competitors coming in or it's a niche market that not a lot of competitors know about it and you have a good opportunity there we should also when we think about uh, targeting balance the segment attractiveness with our capabilities now we know information about the uh, segment uh, the population of the segment their needs and also the competitors and if they enter or not so now we go to what our capabilities how can we enter that segment do we have the right capabilities to enter that segment so it may be attractive but i don't have the capabilities to enter the segment so balancing the segment attractiveness with our capabilities is very very important let's say what's the most attractive segment from that discussion the most attractive segment from that discussion we can say it is where you have a differential advantage you are different than the competitors or you are the strongest over the competition as shown in the matrix that we see here okay the perfect one is the one that have segment attractiveness it's attractive it it grows and it uh, it have a lot of uh, consumers and so on and in the same time you have the strength to compete in that segment that makes it high high which is perfect for you and makes the profit higher in that segment the last thing that we should think about when we are targeting a market we should make market research and continuously monitor did the people like what we produce are we still have a differentiation that we are trying to give our company over the competition the last thing that we should think about when we are targeting a market or a segment is that we should all the time focus on market research by being the research you can continuously monitor whether the actual buyers match the target segment or not you can also know if the people are loving our uh, product or not you can also know how the competitors are acting against you in that area so you can all the time have up-to-date information that make you modify your position and try to all the time be the leader in that segment so let me ask a question now if we don't have the capabilities to enter the most attractive segment what should we do should we leave that business or go to another business or should we think about a less attractive segment according to the matrix that less attractive segment may be still profitable but it's not the top what do you think let's think about that question the last step in developing the strategy is the market positioning or the brand positioning and when we say positioning when we get to positioning that's when we first start getting to branding so the word positioning means positioning the brand in a place what's this place okay actually we position our brand in the mind of the target consumer so brand positioning is the rank of a product to occupy a clear distinctive and desirable place relative to competing products in the mind of the target consumer so positioning is a definition of a particular brand as you know now your brand sits in the consumer's head or in his mind so market research is very important to understand how customer think about our brand and in the positioning statement that we define inside the company and start to communicate it to the consumers we should focus on few key benefits which are the unique selling propositions or the unique selling points that you use to persuade your customer that you are in that position and he keeps that in his head all the time and he starts to buy from you more and more 
So now we have developed our strategy by segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Now let's develop an integrated marketing mix. The marketing mix is a set of controllable tactics or mar marketing tools that are called the four P's or sometimes we call it the four C's. The four P's we can say that are, they are product, price, place, and promotion. While the four C's are the customer solution, the customer cost, the convenience, and the communication. So the firm blends that mix together to give you the value that you want as a customer. We use that integrated marketing mix to target our customers or our segment and start to position our brand in their heads. We will talk later in uh, other lecture about that marketing, uh, that marketing mix and uh, the elements of marketing mix, the four P's. By developing that marketing mix, we start to target the segment, the attractive segment that we have decided in the strategic part that we are going to target them and position our brand in their heads. We will talk later more about the elements of the integrated marketing mix. But let's now talk about some points that we should focus on and think of, of them when we develop the marketing mix. When we talk about the first P, the product, we talk about variety, quantity, design, quality, features, brand name, packaging, and the services that are attached to the product. When we talk about the price, we talk about the list price, the discounts, the allowances, the payment period, and the credit terms. When we talk about the third P, which is a promotion, we talk about advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public relations. And now to the final one, which is place, or we will find other words like location, or we will find other words like logistics or supply chain. Many words express the same concept, but it's place, one of the four P's. When we talk about the place, we talk about channels, coverage, assortments, locations, inventory, transportation, and logistics.